this misconception about you? Issues surrounding my my divorce. It's it's a it's a difficult thing to watch and to to hear. Watch watch and listen to your life play out before the the American public inaccurately. Ultimately, as we sit here today, do you feel you've done anything wrong? Oh wow! Um, I don't feel as though I've done anything wrong. I, I, I feel like I have been, I guess, in my silence. Um, I've been treated a bit unfairly, um, a bit harshly. And of course, that is disgrace. Former prosecutor Nathan Wade, attorney Nathan Wade of Atlanta, Georgia. Of course, he and his paramour, Fannie Willis, the DA of the corrupt Fulton County. This is his response to all of the allegations made against him. The hubris of these individuals, Nathan Wade, Fannie Willis, their enablers, never ceases to amaze me. These people are corrupt to the bone and and they refuse to take accountability for their illegal, improper actions and for actions that can clearly cause the demise, the decline of the United States of America. And I'm not going to let them away with it. Folks, J.R. Dukes at your service. I appreciate you joining me. I want to stand a warm welcome to all my free-minded friends. Of course, we're talking about the gift that never stops giving. That is D.A. Fannie Willis of Fulton County. The so-called RICO trial involving former President Donald Trump. Nathan Wade ended up giving giving an interview recently. We just saw a little snippet of that interview. And of course, he thinks sleeping with the district attorney while you're prosecuting former President Donald Trump, obviously engaging in election interference. He believes it's just American as apple pie. This story has been getting a ton of attention. Even overseas, we are getting a huge spotlight on this case because everybody knows how outrageous this case is and how serious this case can be and have world wide implications. And today we're going to take a look at a particular article that a friend sent me. Let's go ahead and dive into it. The article we're going to read together today comes all the way from Europe, all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. They are very interested in this Fannie Willis, Nathan Wade story. And we're going to check out what they're saying. This article is Lee Bailey's Euroweb. Nathan Wade criticized by X for trying to cut alimony after receiving a $53,000 check. Now, of course, this check allegedly is coming from Fulton County under the leadership, if we can use the word leadership, of DA Fannie Willis. This was kind of like a parting gift to Nathan Wade. Remember, Judge McAfee said, hey, Nathan Wade, you got to go or the entire DA's office has to go. This was a result of, of course, of the motion brought by attorney Ashley Merchant, who we just love on this particular show. I love Ashley Merchant. Y'all have definitely heard me say many pleasant things about her, and I continue to sing her praises because she did a fantastic job. At the end of the day, it was not a complete sweep as far as removing Fannie Willis from office or at least off of this case. However, it's under appeal. And when it comes to the law, again, we've talked about this many times, you want an attorney at stall. So the fact that this has went up to the Georgia Court of Appeals and is currently being reviewed by the Court of Appeals, it's great news because in the meantime, Time, everything comes to a complete standstill in this case, unless and until the Georgia Court of Appeals makes a ruling on this. So the good news is we will be well into the election coming up later this year before this trial ever sees the light of day, if it ever sees the light of day. So the article continues. The estranged wife of former Trump prosecutor Nathan Wade claims he's attempting to cut alimony after receiving a $53,000 dollar paycheck. Remember, Nathan Wade and an agreement before he was removed from his position as the lead Trump prosecutor agreed with his ex-wife, Jocelyn Wade, that he would pay for necessary medical care she had. He signed basically an affidavit for his son to go to Spain to play soccer. He told the government of Spain, I, Nathan Wade, will take care of my son and I will make sure he meets all of his expenses. And he made some promises to his daughter. Now, admittedly, these are all adult children, technically. However, Nathan Wade made these agreements, made these statements to officials, to other governments. And now because he's off this case, he's obviously trying to screw his soon-to-be ex-wife out of money that she apparently has coming to her. We reported previously that Wade, who lost his prosecutor position in the Donald Trump election fraud case due to his affair with District Attorney Fannie Willis, cited financial hardship to avoid paying alimony 
to his estranged wife, Jocelyn Wade. Jocelyn accused her ex of contempt of court in a divorce filing. We went over that filing on this program. If you want to go over further, please check back on my past videos. According to the Daily Mail, she asserts she's unable to cover the bills since Wade ceased child support payments for their two children. After stepping down from the Georgia Trump case, Wade claims he cannot fulfill the terms of his temporary agreement with Jocelyn. But Jocelyn claims he received over $53,000 in paychecks three days after he filed an emergency motion to reduce his child support payments in their divorce case. Jocelyn's lawyers recently filed court papers alleging that Wade received payments from Fulton County for his work on the Trump case and more payments are expected to roll in the New York Post reports. And there's a picture of the happy former couple, if they're a formal couple, more to come on that in a very soon to be released video. There appears to be no plausible explanation other than Wade's deceitfulness to justify his pursuit of an emergency relief from this court on April 8th, 2024, alleging essentially insolvency when he had received $53,000 only three days prior, wrote Andrea Hastings. She, of course, is the lawyer for Jocelyn Wade. Thus, it is reasonable to infer that there are further outstanding payments due to Wade that likely have not been distributed as of the current date, Hastings added. Wade sought to reduce his child support payments amid Jocelyn's accusations that he refused to cover her medical bills and financially support their two children as part of a temporary settlement agreement reached in January. Remember, at that time, Nathan Wade was still large and in charge, I guess, of this particular case. He had a ton of money rolling in up to that point. Published reports state he has made anywhere from $750,000 to a million dollars that him and Fanny obviously took and had a great time spending on their many lavish vacations together. In April, she alleged that Nathan failed to pay $4,400 in child support, the Post reports. So we're going to have to stay tuned on this, but I can assure you there's a lot more coming. Nathan Wade is the reason attorneys get a bad name. Attorneys get a bad rap. Him and Fannie Willis, obviously, along with Joe Biden, their cronies, these woke Democrats, they have participated and engaged in this continuing lawfare against former President Donald Trump. They are so afraid he's going to win and he's going to put a stop to this type of nonsense. What an embarrassment on a world stage. You have newspapers in Europe talking about this so-called RICO case out of Georgia. Everybody sees the corruption for what it is. It's corruption on a huge scale. And folks, the truth is this type of thing has been going on in our country for a long time, but generally they don't go after the top most powerful officials. They normally take out individuals that are somewhat beneath them. They don't have money. They don't have funding. They don't have friends in high places. But now, of course, it's on literally a world stage with a huge flashlight being shined on this corruption. And this has to be stopped because this is just the type of thing that can bring down a nation. If you don't believe that, just check back your history books on the great Roman Empire and the reasons why they fail. And we have to ensure that we do not go down this same road. I got a lot more to say about Nathan Wade and Fannie Willis. I got some other videos in the pipeline. So if you haven't done so already, you might as well hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to share, subscribe. If you have a family member, a friend, anyone that you know is suffering the disease of indoctrination, that's what I'm here to cure. Please. Send them this video, let them hear what we have to say, what I have to say, and let them make up their own minds accordingly. This election coming up is too important for us all to simply put our heads in the sand and ignore it. I always appreciate each and every one of you taking time to join me to hear what I have to say. It is truly an honor to sit down and have a conversation with you. I always say, folks, keep that mind free, never give up. And until next time, I am J.R. Dukes.